hello my name is Sai and today I'll be teaching you how to create this chrome metal glass uh text effect you can also use this effect on logos as I will show you later um, I'm also going to teach you some uh lenser compositing uh, effects that you can do so first I'm going to dive into a blank fusion composition here add the text node text plus node I'm just going to name this chrome and I'm going to increase the size I'm going to just customize it how you want it to look. And I'm going to use the Carol Gothic font here. We're going to add a XF transform here. Plug this into here. And we're going to copy this and instance the node by pressing Control Shift V. Now we're going to go over to the angle, set it to about 35 degrees. We're going to go into the instance and de-instance the invert. We're going to check that invert on. So now we have it's rotating and then just going back. I'm going to add a create bump map node. Now, this will change. I'm going to change this to five, set the clamp to one, and set the high scale to 50. Once we change this angle, it'll change how the create bump map looks. Now, we're going to take an erode dilate here, like this over here, and then set this to Gaussian on the filter and set the amount to negative 0.005. Then, we're going to go back into here, and now we have this emboss text effect. Um, to fix these little ridges right here, I'm going to add a basic Gaussian blur. Go here, set it to Gaussian blur. Make sure you don't set it to fast Gaussian. It'll create some weird looking artifacts. And we'll set the blur size to 2.5. So now I'm going to grab the shader node. So in order for the shader node to understand the this input, we're going to need to convert these red, green, and blue channels to um, X, Y, Z normals. So if you press red, this is red, R for red, G for green, and then blue for, or B for blue. We're going to set this back to the default color by pressing C on the viewer. And we're going to add a channel booleans node. I'm going to go to the red and set this to black by hitting on the drop down and typing in BLA. I can go to here, BLA, enter, BLA, press enter. We go to the auxiliary, enable extra channels, and then we're going to turn on red foreground to the X normal green to y normal and blue to z normal now you don't see anything at all in the viewer but if we go up here to these channels we can enable these and this is the red channel but it's reading it as the x normal so then we can go to here and we have the uh, y normal and the z normal and we go back to color there's nothing and then we're going to plug this into the yellow input of the shader we're going to go up here and set the ambient to zero and set the, the fuse to zero and then at this road dilate, we're going to add a brightness contrast node. I'm going to bring this out here, set this to here, and then we're going to set the high to 0 0.001. We're going to make sure we clip both the y or clip both the black and the white values. We're going to plug this into the effect mask right here. I'm going to go over to the settings here and set multiply by mask, and then we're going to go to the luminance channel here and just keep this how it is. Actually, we'll set it to the alpha channel. Then we're going to set this high to 0 0.001. So the same value as the high here. And then we're going to grab our chrome, uh, melted chrome texture. I'll leave a download for this in the description. Um, this has watermarks, but it doesn't really matter that much uh, because of what we're going to do to the image. Um, what you are looking for is multiple colors um, just to kind of add vibrancy to the uh, texture that the shader creates. So now we're going to increase or decrease the size of the image and then add a mirrored edge treatment. So then it copies the or it mirrors the edges. And we're going to put this into the environment reflection map. So now we're almost there. Go to the light over here, set the polar height to 90, and then set the reflection type to refraction. So now we have the finished product, but I'm going to show you how to create some more uh, visually appealing effects for this. So first we're going to grab a green below. And I'm going to grab a background node. And we're going to invert this merge right here by pressing Control T. And on the Dream Glow, I'm going to increase the low channel so then it's low value of the luminous channel so it captures more of the highlights. And then we're going to go over to the tint over here and set this to more of a purple color. And then we're going to go to the tint mode and then we're going to set it to soft light. And then after that, I'm going to add a brightness contrast node. Um, right now, we're going to create a lens dirt effect that appears only in the highlights of the text. Plug this into here. 
And we're going to crush these values just a little bit, decrease the saturation so we can see it a little easier. These are the highlights of the image. So let's just kind of get the main white parts, the brightest parts of the image. Then we're going to grab a blur node. Set this to Gaussian, set it to maybe about 30. And then we're going to add another brightness contrast node and set the gain something like 12. Let's keep increasing this blur size. We don't want it too, too strong. And then we're going to add a merge node. We're going to grab a matte control. I'm going to plug the original Dream Glow output, pop it into the yellow input of the matte control. We're going to go to our media pool and grab this lens dirt uh, texture I found online. We're going to pop this into the garbage mat of the mat control, set the garbage mat to invert and set it to luminance. So now in the widest parts of the lens dirt, the original image is being um, masked by that. Then we can add, grab that merge, pop this into the effect mask, plug the dream glow into the background and this new mat control into the foreground. Then we're going to set the apply mode to screen. And now in, in, in the parts where this, these are whites, white parts here, it's appearing with this lens dirt texture. So this is a little too much right now, obviously. So I'm just going to decrease this blur a little bit and maybe crush these values a little bit more so there, there's less for it to use here. Oh, more important, importantly, we need to go to the merge settings, set the channel to luminance. Makes a lot more sense why it was looking kind of weird. Um, increase this blur. Maybe we'll bring this back. There we go. I think that looks nice. Just a little um, detail here on the texture. And now another thing we can do to spice up the animation is add an animation to the angle. So we're going to add an anim curves modifier here. Set this to about 90 degrees. So by the end of the composition, it reaches a final number of 90. Now we have this little lens dirt effect over the highlights of the image. Um, another thing we can do is kind of just, I'm just going to decrease the green again a little bit on this final bright, brightness contrast. It's just a little too much and noticeable for me. And then finally, we're going to add a filter node and set it to noise. So turn up the power and turn down the blend. So I think that looks pretty nice. Another thing you can do is add a highlights node. And we're going to get after the, or right, well, I'll just add it right here. We'll pop it right after this room below. Then it appears in the image of the lens dirt. Just turn up the curve a little bit. And i just mess around with it a little bit. Looks pretty nice. And here we are at the final product. You can also change it from text. It doesn't have to only be text. It can be a logo as well. So I'm going to grab the DaVinci Resolve logo here. I'm going to resize this to 1080 by 1080 since the original image of this is 2048 by 2048. Resize it here and then add, plug it into this erode dilate. Um, now, the thing about this image is there's a uh, gray texture behind here, and I don't really like that, so I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to add a brightness contrast node. And crush the colors a little bit. Add a matte control. Plug this into the garbage mat. Invert the garbage mat, set it to luminance, and then bring down this high value here. Now we don't have any values right here. Now we have this nice little chrome text effect. You can also add some animation here if you want. Got a DVE node. Pause this. Add it right here. We'll just animate this at 360 to the output. So now spin does one full rotation. This back a little bit. Now we have this 3D looking uh, metal chrome effect here. I think that looks really nice. And yeah, you can basically put any logo into this. Um, just make sure that it fits the resolution of your comp 
position, and that's about it. If you have any questions, let me know and ask in the comments. Uh, I'll make sure to answer as quickly as possible. All right, thank you for watching.